بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم I receive hundreds of questions every day from brothers and sisters and the majority of the questions Sheikh I have wiswas I have OCD I go and answer the call of nature and I feel that I have splashed my whole body with urine How heavy is your urine <laughs> When it falls down, it says, I get splashes. What is this? This is iron. This is not urine. And he says that I wash myself five times a day, six, the whole shower. This is all from who? From shaitan. Wallahi, he plays like with us, like children play with football. He's playing with your mind. You're certain this is, I have a drop. Where is this drop coming from? I think it's najis. No, it's not. To the extent that even Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, was walking once and someone was washing the house, water fell, and he, his companion said, and in a narration, the, the, he said himself, is it najis or clean your water? And the Prophet told him to the owner of the house, don't tell him. Why? So that he would not open the door for wiswas. Every time you get some water, uh, is it najis? No, don't ask. Are you sure it's najis? No, I'm not sure. Khalas. The default, it is, it is pure. This is a rule of thumb that if you apply it, you will feel relaxed. Not like those who go to the bathroom, urinate, and stay for half an hour. Wallahi, I've seen, we might laugh, but this is an illness. I've seen people in the, in, in the, in the, in the toilet coughing. <coughs> I thought that he has maybe uh, some illness and uh, maybe I have to uh, save him and take him to the hospital. And I stay, I wait, then I hear him jumping. <laughs> maybe he's now aerobics. I wait for 10, 15 minutes and the man comes out exhausted. He said, oh, Sheikh, Salaam Alaikum, Alaikum Salaam, what are you doing? He said, I have this problem with urinating. Akhi, people were urinating since Adam. <laughs> Until now, they, they, they still have the same thing. But no one is doing what you're doing. This is, this is all from who? You tell me. Who is doing this? Shaitan. Yeah, go to malls. Go to malls and watch the men. Huh? Don't watch women. Watch only men. And laugh your head off. You find people, respectable people, walking, decent people, married people. And the minute they hear the high heel sound, click, 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 immediately you find heads turning. It might be a man wearing a high heel, huh? but the sound itself ignites something. So subhanAllah, shaitan works in strange ways. His job is to tempt you. The Prophet ﷺ went further to forbid women from wearing perfume to non-mahrams. Even if coming to the masjid. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him. So a woman, fully dressed in niqab and mashallah, nothing, and he found a beautiful smell, a beautiful scent coming from her. Princess. And he asked her, where are you going? Ya Amat al-Jabbar, the slave of Allah, the Almighty. Where are you going? To the masjid? She said, yes. She, he said to her, go back and have a full shower. Because the Prophet said, والسلام, whoever goes out wearing perfume, going to the masjid, Allah would not accept her prayer until she goes back and has a full shower. Because of that, perfume. And biologist tells us that they, they've discovered recently that there is a gland in the, in the nose of men that provokes a... Uh, 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 sexual desire not only that the prophet says والسلام, whoever there is a woman whoever wears perfume and goes out of her house and passes by men so that they can find the perfume smell she is committing an act of fornication or adultery imagine and the prophet instructed والسلام, women when they come to the masjid to come without any sort of perfume to the masjid how about if they're going to which is what what is the masjid 
The Prophet tells us, the most beloved piece of land to Allah is the masjid. And the worst and most abhorred piece of land to Allah is the aswaq, the markets. And how do our women go to the markets? Have a bottle of perfume. What are you doing? So yes, I'm a Muslim. I have to show people that Islam is beautiful and Islam smells good. Yeah, you, but you're doing it on the wrong place. You should do this, but you don't do it to an mahram because this has more uh, uh, harm than good. When was the last time you sent your wife an SMS? Why should I? It's 25 girsh. So a lot. She doesn't deserve this. No, ya akhi, while in, the, in, in your office. What's wrong with sending her an SMS saying, uh, uh, I love you, I miss you? Sheikh, this is in, inappropriate. Me saying to my wife, I love you? Are you stupid? The Prophet used to say this, alayhi salatu salam. The Prophet, alayhi salatu salam, whenever Aisha used to drink from a glass of milk, he would, he would take it and he looks where she put her lips and drinks from it. Nowadays, the husband says, Honey, bring me a spoon so that I can eat with. She says, take my spoon. I said, you crazy? Wash it seven times with water and once with soil and bring it over. What, what kind of a, a, a husband is this? Ya akhi, she is your wife. The Prophet ﷺ used to see the meat where she took a bite from and he would put his mouth on it. This is the love we want. So send her an SMS. When you're coming from uh, work, ya akhi, buy her a rose. Seven rials rose. Buy her a dress. When you see her coming out, well, well for, this is for the sister, for the husband. Huh? When you see your husband coming out of the shower, and most men do this, huh? They stand in the in front of the mirror, do this, <laughs> flexing the muscles, and you say to the and, and he says to her, "Honey, how do I look?" She says, <laughs> she breaks in laughter for half an hour, <laughs> and she laughs. What's wrong? And she laughs for half an hour. He will divorce her. On the contrary, when he says like this, she says, Masha Allah, I don't know whether your biceps are bigger or Arnold Schwarzenegger's. <laughs> wow, you look beautiful, my, my love, my hubby. You should say this. This is what increases. It's the same thing happens with us. huh? When, a, when, when, a, when the missus all dresses up and she's going to a wedding or to a, a party and she says, how do I look? We say, is this your daughter's dress? He says, no, why? She's too tight. I can see all the fat coming out of it. You no, know, it's not good on you. Yeah, this is wrong. Lie. Lie to make the love ignited. So when you see this, Wallahi, I don't know who's, who's making who beautiful. Wallahi, you are making this dress so beautiful. It's not the other way around. You're the, the charming one who's making the dress beautiful. Well, she would blush and say, Wow, oh, you're lying. And you say, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you shouldn't. You shouldn't. You should try your level best to have this love increased. So it takes a lot of diplomacy, but it is not yeah, it's something difficult. It is an art. And you have to know your shortcomings. You know how to do this. And inshallah, Allah will make things better.